come with me to help host the Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny Melbourne event screening. So I'm a Curtin University student studying a Bachelor of Commerce majoring in event management and digital and social media. Over the semester break I'm working with Disney as an events intern and was super lucky to go on site for this event which we hosted at IMAX Melbourne. So I had to be on site at about 9am and help oversee the bumping procedures of our external event agency. This basically means that they'll start setting up all of our assets including media walls, lighting structures, stages and photo opportunities. So this is what the venue's looking like before everything sort of gets set up and then we head straight into the cinema for a tech check where we basically watch the first five minutes of the film to see that the content is working fine. I then had some emails to get through before we started staging the event and if you've seen the film you know it's set in Morocco so we really wanted to lean into that for the theming of this event. So there was a heap of foliage, Moroccan theming, cushions and warm lighting to give off the same vibe as the film. Here you'll see that our truss arch for the media wall is getting set up and here's our beautiful bar which will eventually have a bunch of drinks that guests will grab from when they arrive. For this title we also implemented some 3D lettering on the media wall to really bring out that Indiana Jones IP and we worked with some amazing florists to match the greenery and foliage you see in the film. Here's me doing a very awkward outfit of the day. We then started setting up this black drape around the venue, which basically blocks off any unwanted areas in the space. By this time it was nearing 6 p.m., which meant it was almost time for our guests to arrive. I realize I haven't even mentioned the best part yet, which was this whipping arena we had outside. We'll see a bit more of this in a second. And this is what the event looks like all set up. So this was our Moroccan bar with a variety of drinks for guests to choose from. And then this was the media wall all done. Finally going back outside, this is what guests saw as they arrived. So this guy Nathan Briggs holds the Guinness World Record for most whips cracked per second. And he gave a really entertaining performance outside while guests waited to go in the venue. And this is what the event looks like inside once we start. Guests were also treated to these custom bespoke hats. And we had an orchestra playing the iconic score as guests arrived as well. So event staff don't usually get to watch the film on event night. But we do hang around to grab a few people for interviews afterwards. And that was about it. My night wrapped up at around 9 p.m. making it about a 12 hour day but it was so worth it and such a cool experience to be a part of and I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about what a career in events looks like.